10, just ahead of the holidays, celebrity chef Tyler Florence launched two new cafes in San Francisco's Union Square. This is all part of the city's larger plan to bring more people downtown. KTVU's Jenna Katsuyama live tonight there in Union Square. All right, Jenna, what are you hearing reaction-wise? <laughs> well, a lot of people were really surprised and excited by these two new openings. They had seen Tyler Florence on the Food Network shows. This is one of the locations that he just opened up, and the other one is across Union Square, just on the other side of the ice skating rink. And many people said that it was a welcome new uh, element to the Union Square area. Union Square is all dressed up with some new sights and smells for the holiday. On the Stockton Tree side, it's going to smell like roasted chicken. And on this side of the park, it's going to smell like fresh baked cookies. Celebrity chef Tyler Florence is betting on the San Francisco economic rebound. He won a bid to open two new cafes right in the square. And on Monday, the doors opened. It's been a steady stream of people all day long. We opened up at um, 7.30 this morning. At 7.40, there was a line outside. Staff from his Miller & Lux restaurant helped launch the Miller & Lux Provisions Patisserie on the west side of Union Square by the cable car line, which will be serving up coffee, cookies, pastries, and cakes. We've been kind of fans of Tyler Florence for many years, and so yeah, we were excited when we heard this was opening up. I tried the devil's cake. That was really good. Um, <laughs> coffee was really good, and it's just nice to see Union Square getting lively again. Across from the patisserie is the Miller & Lux Rotisserie on the east side of the square by Stockton Street. That will be open later and serve up organic rotisserie chicken, roasted potatoes, salads, and drinks. Out-of-town tourists Monday were thrilled to meet the celebrity chef in person. Walked by and I saw Tyler Florence standing outside and I was like, what the heck, you know? Tortellini salad and I got a Pinot. And we got a beer. The two new cafes are part of a larger city effort to bring people back to the heart of the city. On Thursday, Macy's Great Tree is set to be illuminated. The ice skating rink is scheduled to stay open through January, and Stockton Street will become a temporary outdoor winter walk park starting December 15th. We're going to have turf for two blocks. We're going to have food trucks and music, a stage, and Santa, and other activations on, on winter walk. Marisa Rodriguez. CEO of the Union Square Alliance says security is a top priority. So we're seeing police all around the district. We have all of our ambassadors and the SF Travel ambassadors as well, welcoming people to the square. We're you know all in this together uh, to do what we can to bring San Francisco back. And Florence says while we have seen some businesses leave the area, he says this also opens up what he calls some once in a life time once in a generation deals on leases downtown because there are a lot of t uh, owners who are looking for people to fill the empty spaces. Again, his lease is here for three years and he's really excited about what this upcoming holiday season and the new year could bring. Mike. Roasted chicken on one side, cookies on the <laughs> other. It's hard to say no to that. Both those uh, spots take off this holiday season for him. All right, Jenna, thank you. Yeah, either way, I'm in. That's it.